Hello, it's Claire and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share five tips to make going vegan just a little bit easier. I've been vegan for a while now and for me I didn't see the benefits of being vegan instantly. It took me a while to find my rhythm so I'm hoping that these tips will help you on your vegan journey. You've got to figure out why you're going vegan. If you've got a strong reason for going vegan, for example for animal welfare or for the environment, you won't even feel the need to eat meat or dairy because that reason will be so ingrained in you that it just won't even be a question. What keeps me vegan is a mix of things to be honest, but the most important thing for me is that I feel like I'm actually living my morals and that's a really nice thing to feel. Don't focus on the foods that you can't have, focus on all the foods that you can have. Treat yourself to some vegan cookbooks, use Pinterest and YouTube for inspiration. There's so many amazing vegan recipes out there. Your taste buds will change over time and trust me, you will lose all of your cravings for meat and dairy and for all the foods that you used to eat. Something that really helped me was making vegan versions of dishes that I already liked. So for example, spaghetti bolognese. It's such an easy thing to make vegan and it made me feel like I wasn't losing all of the foods that I used to love. You will need to up the volume of food that you are consuming. Hopefully you'll be a plant-based vegan or a healthy vegan. <laughs> no. So fruits and veggies are great. Full of fiber and full of water, they're amazing, but they are unfortunately very low in calories. So that means that you need to eat a lot of them. Don't expect to eat a bowl of lettuce and feel full. You need to bulk up those salads with lentils, beans, quinoa to make you feel fuller for longer. I made the mistake of eating way too little when I first turned vegan. I was grumpy and lethargic and as soon as I started eating more calories I was able to live the active life that I want to live. It can be a bit of a mind game at first because you're not used to eating such a high quantity of food but it's fine, honestly your body will get used to it and you will get used to it too. Introduce foods into your diet slowly. So lentils and beans are amazing, they are great for your body, however they do contain a lot of fibre which means that when you start eating them you're going to poo more. Go slow with these foods, introduce them slowly and you will avoid being bloated and gassy and pooping loads. Go at your own pace. If you feel that you want to go vegetarian first, do that. If you feel that you only want to eat one plant-based meal, for example, for breakfast, do that. The more you start to enjoy these foods and see the benefits of them, the more you're going to eat them and slowly you will be transformed into a beautiful vegan butterfly. So that's it folks. These were my five tips on how to make going vegan just a little bit easier. I hope they helped and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!